hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this intro animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in after effect now let's create a new composition i'll call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 1080 frame rate is 30 duration is 1.30 seconds and for the background color i'll choose solid black and hit ok choose grid and guide option and titus affection select our text tool and in this character tab i don't want fill for that so i'll delete it and i'll choose fill color uh, solid white and for the font i'll choose oswald you are free to choose anything you want but for now i'll choose this font and i'll type my text i'll type intro for now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and now go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s on keyboard to increase the scale a little bit i'll make it as 160 now hit ctrl d on keyboard and i had this second one select this one go to the character tab i don't want fill for this so i'll delete it and i'll choose stroke stroke color i'll choose white and for the stroke width i'll choose two now right click on this intro text go to the create shape from text so we will get this outline now go to this outlines and contents as we can see we are getting each and every stroke on the different layer so go to the uh, go to the search bar type stroke on it so as you can see we are getting stroke property for each and every stroke create one keyframe and each and every letter zoom in a little bit go to two seconds and again create one keyframe for each go to the start i'll make it zero and at this point i'll increase the stroke up to let's say 19 make 19 for all of them I think for N we need to increase this stroke up to 26. Select these keyframes and hit F9. Now I'll adjust them. I'll move these keyframes over here. Select these ones, move them over here. Select this these ones, move them over here, and select this one and move them over here. We are getting this kind of animation if you want then you can arrange this like this but i think we should start from i so i'll move this i over here this one over here this one should be here only this one here and this one here so we are getting this kind of animation now press f4 not f4 but u hit u so we will get our keyframes like this now delete this second one unhide this intro text press f4 on keyboard to see this track mat option and instead of none i'll choose alpha mat so as we can see we are getting this text reveal animation for our text now after that what i'll do is go over here choose our pen tool and create some strokes like this for the stroke width i'll choose four for now you are free to choose anything but i would suggest you should choose four only press ctrl alt home and to align that anchor point to the center and just move it a little bit here press ctrl d hit p for position property and move it over here select both of them Hit Ctrl D, move it over here, press P, 
and move it over here choose this one move just little bit over here you can zoom a little bit select both of them hit ctrl d drag it at the top press p and move this over here again hit ctrl d drag it at the top hit p and move this over here again hit ctrl d drag it at the top hit p and move this over here so follow this procedure again hit ctrl d just like this now after that what we will do we will choose our paint tool and i will add one line like this so this one press ctrl alt home drag it down hit ctrl d press p and drag it over here again hit ctrl d and hit p drag it over here hit ctrl d and p drag it over here again hit ctrl d drag it over here now what we will do is i will hit ctrl d on keyboard press r on for rotation and rotate it like this press v for selection tool and i will move it over here hit ctrl d move this over here we need to follow this for r also so hit ctrl d I'll move this over here, press R for rotation and rotate it just like this, hit Ctrl D and I'll move it over here. As we can see we are getting all this stroke something like this. Now after that what I'll do is, I'll go to the start, select this stroke, go over here, go to the add, select trim path option go to the trim path let's make it zero at the start create one keyframe at 1.5 i'll make it 100 at one seconds i'll create one keyframe on the start then at two seconds i'll make it 100 so we are getting this kind of animation i'll move it over here select these keyframes and hit f9 press alt and drag this over here so we will get this kind of animation now select the stream path hit ctrl c select all of them and hit ctrl v and hit u so as we can see we are getting this kind of animations so after that what we will do is we will select this layer hit page down button two times so and then select all of them and press alt close square bracket now right click go to the keyframe assistance and sequence layers and just drag it over here so we are getting line wise this animation now after that what we will do is we need to animate these horizontals and this lines at the start so what i'll do is i'll select this one and then all of them and i'll drag it at the start get something like this now choose this intro lines hit u we need to adjust the positions of them so it will animate a little bit early Now after that what we will to do is select these lines press ctrl shift c to pre comp it I will call it as lines and hit ok select this text and I will hit ctrl shift c and I will type text hit ok now after that what I will choose is I will hit ctrl d three times and I will also hit ctrl d three times for this select this lines go to the fill option i'll choose fill i'll type red text 
select this third line apply fill and i'll choose green color select this second one apply fill effect and i'll choose blue color and hit ok select this text apply fill color it should be red select this one apply fill color it should be green select this six layer apply fill effect and it should be blue and hit ok now after that what i'll do is i'll adjust this positions just like this same goes for here also adjust the position choose this text little bit just like this so we are getting this kind of animation now after that what i'll do is select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll type text animation and hit ok So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.